Hi, boys and girls. Reverend Diane here from Children's Church. Welcome back to another week of Faith Community Kids Online. As you guys know, we're all staying safe at home with our families right now. But we're meeting right here online to praise and worship Jesus and to learn his word in the Bible together. And we have a great Bible lesson prepared for you today. But before we begin, let's say good morning to our friend, Faithful. Hi, boys and girls. I think we should all say hello to each other right now. So in the comments below, type your name and leave a fun emoji to say hello to all our faith community friends. And maybe some new friends here for the first time. If you're not sure how to do this, let your parents help you. Are we ready? Sing along. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear friends. And how do you do? Wow, welcome everybody. I'm so glad you joined us because we have a super awesome lesson prepared for you. So put on your listening ears. Come on, let me see them. Great job. Are we ready? Here we go. On your mark, get set, go on a Bible adventure. So much in the Bible for me to know on my Bible adventure. I want to know that God is real. I want to know how I could be his friend. I want to know who Jesus is. I want to find out what the Bible's all about. Hey! Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, la, la. On your mark, get set, go on a Bible adventure. So many ways that I will grow on my Bible adventure. I'm gonna learn my memory verse I'm gonna pray and talk to God I'm gonna sing new songs to God And keep singing the songs all week long Oh, do 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 La 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 On your mark, get set, go On a Bible adventure Church is a fun place we can go On a Bible adventure Wiggle my waggle! Hi friends, I'm Emily. Shine the Star sent me the question, how do you show faith? I'm going on a Bible adventure to find out. Shake your hands high in the sky if you'll go with me. Woohoo! Let's put on our adventure bags. <laughs> Wee! Hiya, friends! Hi, Shine! We're getting ready for our Bible adventure! Did you pack your picture passes? Not yet! What's in my trunk? <sighs> oh, I know! The first one is something that has numbers on it and tells the time. Friends, which picture pass is it? Open your adventure bags! <laughs> okay, this one's inside your head. You think and remember with it. Hmm. You're right as a green light! <laughs> the brain! Put it in your adventure bags! Now for the last one. When you add water and sunshine, It'll grow. Hmm, what could it be? <gasps> A seed! A seed grows! <gasps> We've got them all! Count them with me, friends! One, two, three! Let's zip our adventure bags together! Now, now it's, it's time, time to, to fly! fly. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Shine, I read the 
question, how do you show faith? But I don't know what faith is. Faith is trusting and believing. Trusting and believing? Maybe our picture passes will help. We have a clock, a brain, and a seed. Oh, Shine, I still don't get it. Then let's watch a story from the Bible that's all about faith. The Bible is God's book for you. You can trust it's right and true. <gasps> Abraham's big test. That's from the book of Genesis. I've heard of Abraham before. He was a real person who lived a really long time ago. Friends, maybe Abraham can show us what faith means. <laughs> God promised Abraham a son, and from that son, many descendants, who would bless the whole world. But Abraham and his wife Sarah were too old to have children. Twenty years went by. Still, Abraham trusted God's promise. When he was 100 and Sarah was 90, God reminded them of his promise. Sarah was going to have a baby. When their son was born, Sarah was so joyful that she laughed. <laughs> God has brought me laughter, she said. So they named their son Isaac, which means he laughs. <laughs> when Isaac was a boy, God tested Abraham by telling him to take Isaac to Mount Moriah and kill him as a sacrifice to God. Abraham was confused, but still he trusted God. Isaac carried the wood, and Abraham held the knife and torch. Together they climbed the mountain. Where is the lamb for the sacrifice? asked Isaac. God will provide it, Abraham replied. Abraham arranged the wood on an altar, tied up Isaac, and laid him on the wood. As he raised the knife to kill Isaac, an angel called his name. Abraham, don't hurt the boy, the angel cried. God knows you trust his promise. Look, there in the bushes, a ram is caught by its horns. Sacrifice that instead. So Abraham sacrificed the ram instead of his son. He called the place God will provide because God provided the sacrifice. Just as God had said, his promise came true. Did you see how Abraham trusted and believed? Yeah, God told Abraham that he was going to give him a son. Abraham believed God, and God kept his promise. Abraham trusted and believed God, so he obeyed God to show faith. Obey? Obey! How do you show faith? I show faith every day when I trust and obey. <laughs> Wee! That's the answer to the question. I wonder if Blinky and Cloudette know about faith. I don't know. I'll go find out. And I'll find out about these picture passes on our Bible adventure. Come on! Oh, that Abraham, he sure showed some faith. Oh, hi, Emily. Hi, guy. Look at this. What is it? What is it? I just learned in my favorite book, the Bible, about a man who showed a lot of faith. So did we. What? You did? Yeah. Friends, who do you learn about with Emily? It was Abraham. But we still don't know what it really means to show faith. Faith. Hmm. Let me see. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Faith means trusting and believing. That's what Shine said. But how did Abraham trust and believe? Remember when God made a promise to Abraham? Yeah. God told Abraham that he would give him a son, even though Abraham and his wife Sarah were too old. But he had faith. He trusted and believed God the whole time. And God gave him a son when he was 100 years old. That reminds me of one of our picture passes. <laughs> Count them with me, friends. One, two, three. Great. Now, which one has numbers on it and tells the time? It is the 
clock. A clock reminds you to show faith in God by waiting, even if it takes a long time. I think I need a Bible verse to help me remember to trust God while I wait. Oh, oh I have one. <laughs> Friends, wiggle your ears if you're ready to learn a verse with me. I'm wiggling my ears. Are you wiggling yours? Okay, watch first. Okay. Psalm 3114. I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God, you are my God, you are my God! <laughs> <laughs> okay, repeat after me. Okay. Psalm 3114. Psalm 3114. I trust. I trust. In you, Lord. In you, Lord. I say. I say. You are my God, you are my God, you are my God! <laughs> you are my God, you are my God, you are my God! <laughs> Okay, great job, friends. Now, let's do the whole verse together. Yeah. Psalm 31, 14. I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God, you are my God, you are my God! <laughs> Jumping jambalaya! When I have to wait, I'll trust God. He is my God! Trusting God is a way to obey. Reminds me of the question, how do you show faith? I show faith every day when I trust and obey. <laughs> I'll remember that on our Bible adventure. Bye, guy. See ya. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. I can't share. It's just a box anyway. But I heard Mr. Stone say you had to. <laughs> Winky, what's in that box? Oh, all right already. Oh la la, bubbles! Let's play bubbles! No, no bubbles. Why are you being so selfish? I just super dee duper love bubbles. If I share, you guys will use it all up. And I'll have to wait forever. Wait? For what? Well, uh, to get more bubbles, of course. But Mr. Stone told you to share. Yeah, and he said he'd give me more after they're all gone. So what's the big deal? What if Mr. Stone forgets? Then I'll never get any bubbles. Blinky, you need to have some faith in Mr. Stone. Trust, believe, obey. Trust, believe, obey. Obey? God is so good. He gave you Mr. Stone to take care of you. Yeah, God did give me Mr. Stone to take care of me when Mommy's busy. I know he loves me. I really do trust him. But I'll be so sad if I don't get more bubbles. Abraham felt like that too. He knew God loved him. He trusted God. But do you think Abraham wanted to give his only son back to God? No way. That is too sad. Abraham shouldn't do that. Abraham did do it because he had faith. He believed, trusted, and obeyed God. Shine. Abraham lived a long time ago. That's why he could be so brave and obey. I'm just a little bug. I can't do it. You can because God put a tiny faith seed in your heart when you ask Jesus to be your leader. It'll grow every time you remember God is real and loves you. I think I feel that faith seed growing right now. I can trust and believe God. Wee! Claudette! Wee oui, wee? Oui. I'm gonna share all my bubbles with you guys. I'll show faith in God by trusting Mr. Stone and obeying. Yay! Yay! Well, now we know what the clock's for. We show faith by trusting and believing in God, even when we have to wait. But what about the other two?
Say them with me, friends. A brain and a seed. Hmm. <gasps> Do you hear that? It sounds like it's coming from Mr. Music's singing studio. Let's go. Mr. Music, oh boy, I'm sure glad that you're here. We've got to ask you a question. Ask away. How do you show faith? I show faith every day when I trust and obey. Yeah, that's the answer. And Guy the Bible Guy taught us this verse to help. Psalm 31, 14. I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God, you are my God, you are my God. <laughs> wow, that verse reminds me of a man in the Bible named Abraham. Yakety yo-yos, we know about him. Do you remember when God asked Abraham to give his son Isaac back? I do remember that part. It was sad and kind of scary. Yes, but Abraham had faith in God, so he obeyed God. Mr. Music, why did Abraham have faith to obey God? Because Abraham remembered that God kept his promise to give him a son. Remember! That reminds me of one of our picture passes. Whew. Count with me, friends. One, two, three. Now, which picture pass is it? It's something inside your head. You think and remember with it. The brain! Abraham used his brain to remember the promise God kept. When Abraham was scared or worried, he remembered what God did before and believed that God would take care of him again. Can we do that too? Sure you can. In fact, I know a song that'll help. Friends, clap your hands together if you'd like to sing a song with me. <laughs> I'm clapping my hands. Are you clapping yours? <laughs> do you want to sing it from the beginning? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Repeat after me. Okay. I want faith like Abraham. I want faith like Abraham. When I can't, I know God can. When I can't, I know God can. Why should I be scared or worried? Why should I be scared or worried? I know that my God is with me. I know that my God is with me. That was great. Here we go. <laughs> I can trust my God. I can trust him and obey. I can trust Jesus. I can trust him and obey. F -f -f -faith. F -f -f -faith. F -f -f faith F -f -f faith That was great. <laughs> Here we go. When a problem comes my way. When a problem comes my way. I can look to God and pray. I can look to God and pray. And why should I be scared or worried? Why should I be scared or worried? I know that my God is with me. I know that I can trust my God, I can trust Him and obey. I can trust Jesus, I can trust Him and obey. I can trust my God, I can trust Him and obey. I can trust Jesus, I can trust Him and obey. That was great! Now, stand up on your feet to worship God with singing, music, and dancing. <laughs> Jesus loves me, four and five is by my 
I'm gonna run, run, run to his love, love, love. I'm gonna sing, sing, sing to God's son. I'm gonna shout, shout, shout the name of Jesus. He is the one I trust. I know that he is with me every day He's by my side He hears me when I pray Jesus, I trust About faith? Sure do. Guy the Bible Guy taught us a verse about faith. Say it with me, friends. Psalm 31, 14. I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God, you are my God, you are my God. <laughs> so faith means you'll trust God and believe he's always your God. Yeah, and the verse helps us remember the answer to the question. Ask us the question, Shine! Ask us the question! How do you show faith? I show faith every day when I trust and obey! <laughs> Wee! And the picture passes? <gasps> Count with me, friends! One, two, three! <laughs> the clock helps us remember to trust and obey God even when we have to wait a really long time. <laughs> and the brain helps us remember what God did before, so we can trust and believe God now. <laughs> but Shine, what about the seed? When you choose Jesus as your leader, you get a teeny tiny seed of faith in your heart. Well, if it's so tiny, how will it help me trust and believe God more? Like a seed, faith grows. Every time you trust, believe, and obey God, it's like giving water and sunshine to your faith seed. Well, what'll a tiny faith seed grow up to be? It'll grow into kind, loving actions. When your faith grows big and strong, your actions will help other people trust, believe, and obey God, too. God promises to help you grow your faith. Pray to God, and he'll keep that promise. Let's do that right now. OK, bow your head and close your eyes. We're going to talk to God together. Dear God, help us to show faith. Give us patience and help us remember the promises that you've kept and grow our faith seed. In Jesus' name, amen. <gasps> Great giggling geckos, it's time to go. We'll see you next time for another Bible adventure. Bye-bye, friends. Friends, raise your hand if you had a good time on our Bible adventure. 
I'm raising my hand. Are you raising yours? Ah, uh, I sure hope so. I'm having so much fun. But guess what? The fun isn't over yet. Do you know what time it is? That's right. It's time for picture passes. Can you guys put on your adventure bags with me? All right, one, two, three, whoosh. All righty, friends. What do you guys think is in here? Do you think a balloon is in here? No. Do you think I have more bubbles in here? No. It's my picture passes. Okay, let's see which one I find first. <gasps> what is this? It's a seed. The seed reminds us that faith can grow. So friends, I have a question. When you choose to follow Jesus, what kind of seed is growing in your heart? It's a faith seed. You guys were listening really well. Good job. Are you ready for the next picture pass? Okay, let's see which one we find. Are you guys ready? Okay, here we go. What is this? That's right, it's a brain. What does the brain help us do? It helps us remember. What did Abraham use to help him remember the promises God kept? His brain. Can you guys point at your brains? Good job. All right, friends, I have one more picture pass. Can you guess what it is? Okay, let's see if you're right. <gasps> What is this? You guys are so smart. It's a clock. The clock reminds us that I can wait. Can you guys point at your watch and say, I can wait. Great job. Okay, so what does this clock remind us to do? <gasps> wait patiently. Great job, friends. You guys were some super -de duper awesome listeners on our Bible adventure. And since you were listening so well, we have some questions that you can talk about with your families. You can tell them all about Abraham and what Emily and Shine did. It's gonna be so much fun. So you guys have fun talking with your families and I'll see you later. Welcome back, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's Bible lesson. Today we learned that our faith in God grows big and strong when we trust and obey Him because He is good and He is faithful to keep His promise and provide everything that we need. So we don't ever have to worry or be afraid when we don't have something important that we need or we don't have enough of something Instead, we can pray and remember His promises and just trust that He will take care of everything that we need. God is a great promise keeper. And before we close our service today, we're going to pray. So I just want to speak to all the parents out there and the adults in the room. Take the children's hands and lead in prayer as we pray together, okay? Every eye closed and every head bowed, let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, we want to thank you for our Bible lesson today and for all that we learned about you and your promises. Lord, I pray today that everyone that heard your word will hide your word in their hearts and that when we have needs and when we need to come to you in prayer, we will remember that you are a great promise keeper and that you take care of us. And Father, I pray for all our children and all our families to stay safe and that you would bring us all back together again very soon. We give you all praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Great job, you guys. I'm so happy that you joined us again this morning. And don't forget, you guys, read your Bible and pray with your families daily, every day this week, okay? And remember that Pastor Gary and Reverend Doreen and all the elders and the teachers of Faith Community Kids are praying for you, and we love you. God bless you, and have a great week.